in choosing in choosing uh, a spouse in choosing spouse he or she the din is everything should be there if the din is there other things if they are missing quite easy to fix but if the din is not there it's, it's you are going to suffer in your marriage the din means everything even if there is let's say weakness in personality uh, weakness in akhlaq but as long as the din is there that boy or that girl will live quite happy in his or her marriage but if the din is not there and the din i don't mean the cultural din when you practice the din the way you were brought up no when you learn it if you learn the din plus values of course in laws you cannot for example uh, neglect the fact that this child is coming from this father or that mother why because rasulullah said al sas the lineage will kick back to its uh, great grandparents so it's very important to know the lineage of the person you want to marry where they are from for example you may you may marry someone from a family that really worked with the british worked with them against your own country or with the french against algerians and used to massacre people traitors you you you're marrying a potential traitor you have to know where you put your hand you cannot just put your hand in any hole it could be a very dangerous snake in that hand so it's good to marriage is not just the person you are going to marry also the family so some people you know they they, they committed uh, crimes against humanity you want to marry from them you're crazy politicians are also you know those hardcore yeah you have to be careful you have to be careful so lineage is good good to know but it's not like must but that's how deep we go in giving our daughters or sons to other people. There are other issues. It's not just the boy is good or the girl is good. There could be an Islamic school learning. Doesn't, doesn't mean anything. It could be a boy and girl if they graduated from very good Islamic school and they behave and they wear hijab. No. Sometimes their blood will kick. During anger, he or she may result to what the grandparents used to do, which is treason. But that's like un... How do you say? Unknown. Maybe, maybe not. No, if it's known. If it's known? If it's known, you shouldn't. No, I mean, yeah, let's say they have grandfather like that, but then you don't know if this person is of... It will kick. DNA. It will kick. So, for example, I know. So I shouldn't go there. But I don't know, okay. I assume good. But how can the, let's say the great grandfather used to kill and whatever, British or whatever, then how is that in the DNA? Because that's his it's job, with, not his. What do you mean, kill them? Okay, let's say they were soldiers or whatever who did wrong. But how is that in the DNA? No, if he was working with the British. Yeah, but that's not DNA. No, that's his. It is DNA. There are, there are two types of DNA. You always talk about the physical DNA. With the, 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 the medical no there is the other spiritual DNA yeah, okay. you are not responsible for them yes of course I don't hold you responsible for what your forefathers did but this is marriage and I'm choosing the best so I will try my best to stay away if I come to know if I don't know I don't have to I don't have to sister clear 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 one family work with the British in this country or with the Japanese or with the Portuguese against the Malays. You marry from them, you're wrong, you're crazy. If you know. That's what I'm saying. Family in Algeria are traitors, worked with the French, killed the ulama, showed where the Mujahideen were. These people, if you marry from them, you are making a big mistake. But if you don't know and you find yourself married to them, it's okay, tell us. Okay, but even if you know, then there'll be other I said they have five kids. I mean, it could be like... It will kick in one of them. Treason will kick. 
That's why Rasulullah Sallallahu in the authentic hadith says, "Tachayaru li nutafikum akhwala." Subhanallah, and the hadith is very amazing. Choose for your sperms, uncles, maternal uncles. Meaning, don't look only at the girl you want to marry. Look at her brothers. If her brothers are okay, most probably she will be okay. Is the uncles. So when a man wants to marry a woman, he, he, she, she could be a good sister, no problem with her. But he should look at her brothers. If her brothers, now will be mafia, or women, womanizers, don't marry from that family. That's what we are saying. That was just a question before the most more sisters attend. So in, in choosing in choosing someone for your daughters or for your sons, it's not just the boy or the girl, it's parents after parents. So that's why involve elderly. Call elderly. That auntie of yours may know their grandmother, she was their best friend, and she may say, go ahead. And she may say, no, she knows her very well and how they are and who they are. If you are serious about finding really good ones for your kids, you cannot just marry anyone. Marriage is no joke. Oh, sisters, you, you know by now. Most of you know. It's no joke. So Rasulullah said, Zakhayaru. Why he says, okay, choose for your sperms maternal uncles. Meaning, look at the future wife you want to marry, her brothers. Because usually a brother may have little authority over his sister. Usually, when we were growing up, we all have authority over our sister. Because we, we don't want our sisters to make something wrong, to, to do something wrong, or to bring shame to the family. Or, so you find the brother very more than father. Father may be lenient. And you find the, bo the boy doing wrong, but he doesn't want his sister to do wrong. Uh, honor. Okay? So what I am saying, please, be careful. When you are about to marry your children, go deep. It's not just the boy or the girl. I told you, the, the girl and the boy could be... Well, they, raised, they were raised in a masjid. In the masjid. From childhood, you know. Another thing, my sisters, I really warn you about. What do you think one of the reasons why we have nursing homes? Nursery, nursing homes. Homes for elderly, why? One of, give me some of the reasons. Because the, they're too busy. Very good. Uh, sometimes the work of both husband and wife, sometimes the too busy, dunya, I want to live my life, good, what else? What do you think will lead socially to nursing homes? What most probably will make you be sitting one day in a nursing home? What goes around comes around. Siblings, good. They, they argue with each other who needs to take care of the moms and the kids. Good. Siblings not taking responsibility, good. Finance, maybe both husband and wife want to work. No so. Hmm? No bonding. No bonding. Good. No religious values. Of the Lack of religious values. Very good. Yeah. Good. What else? You're forgetting something very important. Whatever you did to the child will do to you. Yeah, I said that this now. You. It's the daycares. It's the daycare. Daycare. You put children in daycare, they will put you in nursing home. Please remember that. You should never allow yourself to take your mom or or go to the <coughs> But you're right about children giving you. Because one thing, sisters, the children don't need money and games and, and the children need you more and more. You know that hug you give their daughter or son? Play with them, touch their hair, comb their hair. That is bonding. That is very important. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of his mercy, makes the longest childhood 
is the human childhood. The baby needs his mother at least two years, physically. Physically, not just emotionally. He has to suck her milk. He has to bond with her. She has to bond with him or her. But most mothers working, 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 working. At that moment when he needs you, you say no. Two years, yes. Two years, no more milk. But he still needs you and you say no. So when he grows up, he will not give you the best. You will pay for that. The law of Allah never changes, whether you are Muslim or non-Muslim. Sad to say, but that's what that's the reality. So that was just to answer Sister Shamin's question about. I mean, she she asked me a question about uh, how to choose when it comes to family. So the in-laws, you have to look at the in-laws <coughs> and the family. The lineage is very important. Then I mentioned this issue of. Uh, Nursing. Nursing, one of the reasons, never forget it, one of the most important reasons why we have nursing, nursing homes in our society is because we started the daycare. What do you call that before the daycare? Nursery. Nursery, nursery. nursery for children too? Mm. Yeah. Okay, nursery, nursery. Alas. Very clear. He can't, he can't. The baby cannot, cannot. He cannot feel it. You cannot blame him. You know? He was more attached to the maid than you. He sees her more than you. Mommy wanted to, to be? To be woman. She just... Uh... I'm not here to depress your sisters. No. Or to put you down. But just to wake you up. And to at least, at least... When problems start happening, God forbid, around you, okay, I know, I know, I know. So you will not kill yourself with, ah, oh, why, 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 why? Oh, I know, I know. I'm paying, I'm paying the price. It's okay, I'm paying. Yeah. It's the price to pay. Yes? No, just um, about the marriage again just now, because we all have daughters now entering into that. that may Allah, <laughs> bless that, may Allah. You are yes, uh, going to enter into that zoo. So, um, not in a few years. Entering. <laughs> Put it in your mind. Uh, sister, sister Marina still cannot let go. Marina, one day you'll be... Uh, so you okay, say, my daughter, you go. Very soon. Like there. <laughs> go, but stay with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nearby, nearby. Don't worry. You say it's the deen, it's the akhlaq, it's the lineage. Mm. But part... But, but what about compatibility? And I don't mean material compatibility, yes. she, in terms yes. of personality. Yes. She, which she asked, ask. yes. Good. I didn't answer. Good, good question. Yeah. Yes. Please uh, try it's like to... like one, one likes to stay in, another one likes to go out, and, or, you know, like character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Answer. Yeah. Uh, How do you... Good, good. Women shouldn't be out. That's one. I wouldn't marry a woman who always wants to be out. I say, like sister, out of class. yeah, out of class, no problem. But out, no, I no, feel no, like no, going no, out. No, Where? I, I don't know. I just want to walk. Wow. Men should be out. Women should be in. Huh? So if the boy likes to be out, and alhamdulillah, that's compatible. It means it will work. It will work. Because imagine both of them out or both of them in. Big problem. <laughs> Big problem. As much as you want your husband to be in with you, but just for a few minutes, one hour, two hours, 24, you go crazy. You want him now to go out. So that's the. Huh? A few minutes is too short. I mean, a few minutes. You know, the point I'm making, the point I'm making, uh, compatibility is very important. For example, better to be both educated. <coughs> But not necessarily the same. Better not. Imagine he is a banker, she is a banker. Oh my God, big problem. But let's say she is in social studies, he is in science. But that's good. They may help each other. They may. You know what I mean? Both of them lawyers. Big problem. Yeah, Big problem. The moment they have an issue, Raja and Shah, both of them lawyer. Oh my God. 
takbir. Tapi kalau tu, I feel like um, especially if the girl is a doctor, it's good to have the husband to be a doctor so that he understands the the demand of the job. No, the they will never understand. The children uh, they don't understand. They don't understand. They double standard. Man no. is a little bit selfish. <laughs> when he wants his when he wants his wife, he doesn't say, "I understand how the pressure you go through." <laughs> You just want attention. No, but both doctors, then the children will be affected because of the children. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Mm-hmm. So, one will be doctor, inshallah. The other one, let's say, I don't know what. But not necessary, not necessary. But better, the woman should be less than the husband. It's safer. Because you ladies, when you get upset, you forget and you start saying, I'm better than him. I made more money than him. I am a shaitan start pushing you. Maybe you, you fight that. You say, no, astaghfirullah, you see, he's still my husband. But shaitan starts saying, no, look, you don't need him. You are better. You are this, you are this. So compatibility is good. Either the husband be a little bit higher, not necessarily in his risk, but in his knowledge. Let's say he has PhD, she doesn't have. If she has PhD and he doesn't have, one day she will tell him, yalla, you don't deserve me. Or sometimes it's the insecurity of the husband. Yes. Why doesn't say that? The husband. But yes. Yes. No, yeah, yeah. Maybe she mm. it doesn't even cross her mind. Mm. Shaitan will go to him and say, you know what she does this? Mm. Because she does it. And then he starts feeling. So better either to be close to each other, even in age. Age they shouldn't be too far. Whether he is younger than her or she is younger than him. Not too far. It should be almost the same age. Allah says Uruban Atraba. When he mentions the, the the women of paradise, he says Uruban Atraba. They are uh, compatible in age, even age. When Allah gives them a, a woman to a man in paradise, she is his age. Let's say you were born 1964, he is 64. Not 64 years old. 1964. Like there. Um, personality, personality. For example, not both of them should be uh, hot tempered. He is hot tempered, she is hot tempered. Second day of marriage, bye bye. One calmer, the other one is okay. Ah, um, one of them, I'm not saying only women should be. Maybe the woman is a little bit uh, her personality, the way she grew up. Boy, you know, takes it easy. Or vice versa. So compatibility also means socially close to each other. Not f- she's very rich and he's poor. That's not, that's not good. Or she is from a very noble family, noble, noble in terms of ilmu, father is alim, mother is ulama, the, the daughter memorized more Quran than the boy, and then you marry her to this boy who doesn't even get up to lead her Salat al-Fajr. She will uh, not take it. I know a sister who divorced her husband for, for, uh, for Salat al-Fajr. He, she gave him a few days, and then she realized this man, like she was cheated, because she was half his. And she married this man, who said, I will do my best. But now, all the men who ask her for marriage, she refused for this boy. At the end, doesn't even get up for to pray Salat Fajr. Allah, get bye-bye. Ah, sisters, some, some women are drumming their husband just for Salat Fajr. For example, to me, a good wife, look her, look at her. Is she taking care of her mother? Yeah. Not a woman who will take care of you. Her own mother, she couldn't take care of her. Do you think she would take care of you, Mr. Uh, so-and-so? So you, when you look at girls, how do, do they behave? Are they malu? Are they under the control of the mother? When the mother look at them, they scared or... So you, you can see there are many things socially around you that we men cannot see, but you women can see because you, you, you can be with, you know, the way she talks to her mom. So tomorrow, you as a mother-in-law, she will talk to you that way. Yeah. And also to the husband, if she, talks, if she talks to her parents with respect, she will talk to her husband with respect. Exactly, exactly. Alhamdulillah, you know that 
this is future good son-in-law, good daughter-in-law. Also the mother, sorry, the mother of the girl is taking care of her mother. That's a good family, right there. Because the girls are watching what her, their mother is doing to their grandma. You know what I mean? That's a good family, right there. And nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect. Everybody has f f small mistakes here and there. Actually, it's so ironic because I had a conversation, because my girls were back because they were sick, right? Mm. So I had a conversation about this thing about your future. With my oldest, I was 16. So I just discovered it was a bit shocking that in the corporate world, a lot of the Malay men tend to drink, especially those who are very... Not a lot, lah, but it's normal. It's quite normal. So mm -hmm. people don't really bat an eye. So I told her, I said, the thing is, um, I said to her, when you make friends, you also don't just make friends and be at a very superficial level. You need to also find out what the family is like mm -hmm. and the background of the family. Because, um, you know, I'm not just about to let you... And also, I have to do my duty. Lah, but I'm not just about to let you, like, go into a family so you, you know, you marry a family that the background is all very hoo-ha, hoo-ha kind of thing because you're my daughter. So I said also you need to be very observant because now the haram is everywhere mm -hmm. and people don't bat an eye anymore. Yeah. In fact, people just condone yeah. it and it's okay. <coughs> the normal thing is people do haram. The abnormal is when people abstain from it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. so, she, yes. so she's yes. very aware of that. So I said Probably. choose your friends carefully and if you find them really blatantly doing haram, just drop them because they're not worth it. Because mm. I said like in the future, I mean like your dodo will come inshallah. But you know, it's also important to know not just the person, but the family as well. So I was like, I was just talking to her because she was really sick. And today we are talking about the SP, 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 not only SP. Alhamdulillah. It's good. It's good that you also have a conversation with your children. Because mothers of today, they are not talking to their daughters. Really, majority of sisters are talking to friends, but not to their daughters. And many men like me don't spend time with their children, advising them and guiding them. And maybe they, if we don't talk to them, they will get it from other sources. Yes, which they get the, and, Yes, yeah. it could be yeah. bad. Not could be, most probably bad. That's why nice talk and show them that you trust them. And you have to tell, let them know that I trust you. That's why I'm talking to you. Like. Okay, sorry, one last question. Since sure. we are already on the subject. Um, the age, the age. Is it wrong if us parents, we want to wait for at least, you know, our children to uh, graduate, maybe not, not all, you know, like 21. They graduate at 21 or 22. So that, you know. No, no, least, it's okay. So, halas, at it's least okay. They, you know, if they are about to finish, 21, 22, uh, but if the person can wait, uh, or the person may come. Sometimes the person likes your daughter yeah, yeah. and likes you and your family at that age, when she is, let's say, 19, 20, <laughs> and, but see if he's ready to marry. I mean, if he's ready. Is he financially ready? Is he, is he going to take care of her or? Yeah, but. Yeah, it's okay to wait until 21, 22. It's okay. Because when you say bunkos, bunkos, I'm saying when they are doing nothing, when they are just staying home. But if 16, 17, the man, the boy is not yet 18. How can? Why not? He could be 12, 25, 26. Why not? No, Why not marry your said, daughter? No, 16, 17, the boy will No, the boy, the boy could be 26, 25. Or no, we don't. the boy, yeah. 16, 17 means not working yet. What? The boy? Yeah. No, the boy, no. I'm talking about the girl. The oh. girl is, is 18, 19. But is saying that, oh, we can support him until he finds a job. Don't do that. Huh. Don't do that. Yeah. You spoil him. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't support anyone until they are about to drown. Then pull them. Like there, because if you do, if you do, that's it. They, they get used to. So for a boy then, them having their own means, their own income should be a criteria. Should be. Okay. Can you provide for my daughter, my son? Don't say no. Let them come, sit, and say, what? After you ask, do you have 
uh, what, what, do you have a job, my son? Any job? Yes, auntie, I make some money, alhamdulillah. Are you sure? Where, where do you work? So you find out. If he works, now you can talk. If not, my son, when you have a job, maybe you come back. Not like that. Let's say someone meets you somewhere and say, Auntie, I don't say you stupid, how come she's still young? No, don't say that. Never break anybody's heart. No. But, you know, can, you can reason with him right there. Let's say he could be a teenager, doesn't know, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you can. We were all crazy teenagers. It's like this. When you think you should say, okay, Ya Rab, please, 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 and beg him to help you uh, pass this, I mean, succeed, succeed in, in marrying them. More than their education. They can get education and then stay, uh, look at you. She has, and she dies like that. Never married. And there are ladies, we know, there are sisters not married. Because they made that mistake, or their parents made that mistake. If you are focused on marrying them, you will find someone. And please don't give them the choice to find but for themselves. They will not. They, they don't know. And even if you trust their judgment, somebody may trick them. Pretend to be... And then get them. Once they get them, they change. They show the real face. So you, your, you, your job as mother also is, inshallah, to make sure you help your children. You give them. Give me your hand. I help you here, my son or my daughter, for marriage. After that, you are on your own. That should be priority.